No, he didn't slam you. He didn't bump you. He didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And rubbing son is racing. Our leader is Brad Keselowski. Uh, Rusty, why don't you see if you can dial him up? Hey, Brad Keselowski, Rusty Wallace, up here in the booth at ESPN. You got us? Yo, what's up, man? Well, he's getting pretty intense out there. We're watching some pretty tight corners. Looks like you were shifting a little bit. How's that working for you? Uh, not as good as this for Carl. He's, uh, he's got it figured out. Uh, he's got pretty good smoke, too, so uh, it's going to be tough to beat him. Uh, this is kind of playing right into his hands and having to reach him. You know what, uh, what they say, pressure makes diamonds, so we'll uh, we'll see if we can do it. This app like fusion's good. I just uh, I think Brad's real good too. And uh, I can tell you, we've been having fun racing. Pretty excited running side by side like that in front of these fans. And just hope we can get a good restart and, and get them here on this short run. I, I think the car is good enough. I've just got to be mistake free, you know. Brad Keselowski, Carl Edwards bringing it to green, watching the flag, but now keeping their eye on that restart zone. Keselowski stands in the gas. Carl's with him as they cross the start finish line. Carl did a good job. He's maintaining there. He needs to do that if he's got any chance. He's well, got to keep, keep that high side going right now. That was a great restart with Keselowski. He really came through the gearbox good. Look at Brad. He tries to drift to the high side. Carl fights back. It's not over yet. I thought he had, had him cleared. Look just how close it is. Does Carl dive in on the outside? He's got to do it. Does he maintain that spot? Keselowski holds him off. Carl with the advantage coming off the corner. Keselowski got a little bit loose getting into three. White flag. Shades of Atlanta for Carl's uh, first cut. Nine right on your bumper. White he flag. To the one outside, more time. But he's got one more lap to deal with Brad Keselowski. Keselowski fights back on the inside. Uh, whatever happens now, this race oh, is no. Keselowski gets into Edwards. They save it. Drag race down the back stretch now. That's that half car length I was talking about. They both survived it. Let's see what happens in turn three. Reed Sorensen waiting in the wings. Here's Keselowski on the inside. Carl Edwards, can he make it stick on the outside? Brad thought he had the best car all night. Took the inside line on the restart. This is going to be down to the wire. Oh, oh. My touch. He spun out. Carl gets into Keselowski. Oh, Carl my Edwards gosh. will win. That's it. Flag. He up on the star, man. You are the man. He deserves it. Good job. Carl's got that outside run. Thinks he's got the room to do it. Boy, that's such a hard angle to see if Brad came up to block in any way. I called in a lift. We can confirm that. There's no Watch question this there. hit by Keselowski. He's stuck on the inside oh. line there. And just hard, hard contact. we got to ask you what happened with you and Brad on that last lap, though. I just couldn't let him take the win from me. My guys worked way too hard for, uh, for that. We had a great restart. My guys, um, my guys built me a great car. And we came to the checker flag, and I hate to see stuff tore up, but, um, but we came here to win. And he took it from us there in turn one. He just went in, uh, he just got in over his head and, and, and tried too hard, and it was at, uh, it was at my expense. So uh, that was at his expense, and we got our win. But I thought, I think he could have got me without hitting me. I think his car was good enough. We could have we been side by side across the finish line, and I would have much rather had that, but we got the trophy. Here they are diving into one, guys. Yeah. And uh, obviously Brad's trying to win. He gets in that half car length too deep that I referred to earlier. As a result, slides up. Gets into Carl, and what Carl's saying is, and he's establishing here tonight, this is how we're going to race. You take, you take something from me, I'm going to take it back. And it's a pretty strong statement, not only what he said, but how he did it. Yeah, the, the problem is I don't think NASCAR is going to agree with this. I think they're going to have a big problem. This could create a lot of controversy, guys. This isn't boys have at it? No, no, I don't think this is boys have at it. I think this is a little bit different, and... And they, there's going to be some talking going on about this one, guys. And Bob, uh, you came up. Uh, what was your view on what happened on the final lap? Brad got into Carl, getting out on turn one, racing him. They bumped, they rubbed, typical rubbing racing deal. Carl went, flipped out like he did at Atlanta and tried to kill the kid. I'm sick and tired of this. I'll get my own damn uniform back out and take care of this. <laughs> he ain't going to kill my boy. He, he just overreacted so bad. If he wanted to bump Brad, it's one thing, but don't drive him through the inside guard rail. Don't put him in a grandstand in Atlanta. That's asinine. All right, Bob Keselowski over there going over to check on his son Brad, obviously upset with what he saw in the final lap. 